I'm Mark Womack, Sports Information Director at Cedarville University, and I'm with John McGilvery. He's the head women's soccer coach of the Lady Jackets and starting his 18th year in the position. And uh, John, of course, it's very early season, but give us some of your expectations here for 2015. Well, I guess I'm going to be bold, um, but I would say we want to contend for the regular season championship, and with this year being the first year with, as I understand it, the conference tournament winner getting an NCAA bid, uh, we'd like to be in the hunt for that as well. Obviously, uh, maybe that's more important than winning the regular season. We had that experience two years ago, winning the regular season, but we didn't win the tournament. So I, unquestionably, those are two goals that, that we have in mind. You had a decent season last year. I mean, it was a winning season. Had some injury trouble, but uh, what are going to be some keys for this year's team to be successful? I think a, a couple of keys for us, obviously, um, our starting goalkeeper, Hannah. Uh, Harris is back. She's healthy. Uh, we lost some people out of the back, but in training in the spring, uh, Stephanie Craddock got some time on the outside. Um, she played on the reserve team last year, a good player. And um, then, of course, losing Hannah uh, Baloney to an ACL tear, um, but we've moved um, Chandra Schweik into the inside. Uh, she's played in the middle before. Uh, I think that's a key piece and see how she comes along to play with Carly. Uh, midfield is back intact. And of course, uh, obviously, uh, Jacoby being injured was a, a blow to us last year. Uh, for the most part, right now, she seems to be healthy. Uh, that's a key, big key to us. Whether she scores goals or whether she creates a lot of uh, concern for the other team, that's going to open up opportunities for other people. Um, our freshmen, uh, so far, uh, we have seven of them in camp. In, uh, I think there's going to be a number of them that will contribute uh, at some level, uh, for sure. And we knew that we needed to recruit some, knowing that we lost two good players from the front in Elise and um, Christy. Final question, John. Ursuline's the defending conference champion, and uh, how would you size up the league heading into 2015? Well, interesting enough, when we had to do the, the balloting, uh, the voting in the preseason, I just ranked them. Of course, we couldn't rank ourselves, but I ranked uh, Ursuline number one since they did win the tournament last year and won the conference, and then I put Trebekah number two. And based on playing them last year, and again, I haven't looked to see who they've recruited, I would expect those to be the two teams that will give us the, the greatest challenge, but obviously we've gone back and forth with Kentucky Westland, um, and who knows what it'll be like on the road with uh, Ohio Valley and Salem. When we played them on the road a couple years ago, it was a lot tougher than it was here. And of course, uh, AB and DE are, are solid teams. So I, I think those, I think Treveca and Kentucky, or excuse me, Treveca and uh, Ursuline have to be considered, you know, the two front runners. They were at the top last year. But I, uh, I think there's respect for us. I think that's why we end up third in the rankings. And as I told our new players, we lost 1-0 and 2-1 to the top two teams in the conference last year at the end of the season. And so I think we can compete with them. And uh, our goal is to not only compete, but hopefully come up on the right side of the score. OK, John, looking forward to it. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Mark and Jim. Kaylee, of course, early in the season, you've just begun practice. But from a player standpoint, what's your uh, opinion on how things are going thus far? I'm really excited with how things are going so far. Um, all of our freshmen, we have a lot of them this year. We didn't have any last year, and each of them bring unique things. We have freshmen that play all different positions, and they've just shown a lot of improvement even within the first few days here. Um, all of our girls have been killing it on our fitness tests, and I'm really excited to see how we do in our first scrimmage tomorrow night. What kind of goals do you have for this team on and off the field in 2015? I think, I mean, obviously a main goal is always we want to get that GMAC win. We want to win conference um, regular season and in the tournament. We've done it regular season, but um, my class is yet to win the tournament. So that's one of our main goals for sure. Um, and then just to keep representing Christ um, as we're doing it, we really want to have that platform to uh, be able to continue and spread his word through it. Now you're one of several seniors on this team and you're a captain and what kind of responsibilities do you feel like gives you and the rest of your senior classmates? Yeah, we have a big senior class and I think that we've all just taken it upon ourselves to really welcome all the new players and just to really um, have this team strive for greatness. We're coming off of a season last year where almost every single person on our team was hurt. We had multiple surgeries and so I just think um, it's a big season for encouragement um, and getting that confidence back on the field. Um, individually and as well as doing that as a team. Well, we certainly wish you well this season, Kaylee, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.